What is up guys, Silver Warrior here, and today I want to discuss my silver selling plan because a few people requested this. I had one person comment on a video asking for it and someone else said yeah, I would also like to see it, so here I am now, making this video. Now, I don't really think there's too much to talk about. Um, you know, I have a few things that I do, would do want to cover for this, of course, or else there wouldn't be a video, but for one, I would like to say that I would not sell right now because I don't think that, I don't even know if a bubble's happening yet, so I don't know if it even, you know, would be worth it to sell or not right now, but even if I did sell it, and even if prices went back down, it wouldn't matter, because I'd be making such a tiny profit on it anyway, you know what I mean, it would not be much of a profit at all, it's a long-term investment for me, a way of preserving wealth, and if I did sell, I would just buy all the silver back, and then hopefully a little bit more, but definitely I would not sell right now, There'd just be no point of doing that for me because, you know, it's, like I said, the profit would be so small that it'd be pointless. And I do think it is possible that a bubble's forming. And if so, then I would not sell until we got to the peak of the bubble probably. Well, definitely, but, I mean, it is kind of difficult to tell when the bubble's peaking out. But I would, what I'd probably do is wait until the prices started to plateau and I would move it out. And even if prices went higher wouldn't be too big a video because at least I got a decent amount of money, but I would not sell below $50 an ounce in a bubble because, you know, a bubble, I think prices are always going to go above 50 an ounce no matter what, especially now. So, you know, and even before prices adjusted for inflation have gone, you know, above 100 an ounce, so above 50 is pretty reasonable expectation for a bubble. So I would not sell anything for anything below that, and it started to peak out at around 60 or 70 an ounce. Like it looked like it started to plateau, then that's when I would sell for me. You know what I mean? I would not be waiting until the prices did start to fall and sell when everyone else was. I would still try to sell when there's a high demand and everyone else is buying because I want to be able to, you know, move the stuff for the maximum amount of money that I can get for it. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but for me, I don't know if there's too many places I would buy it because I feel like in a bubble, all the coin shops in the area, not only would they not give you... You know, that much for it. They'd probably give you below um, melt value. It would definitely would give you that. But not only that, but also, you know, they are probably going to be selling at this point. They'll probably know the same type of thing that I do and not to buy because the price is way too high and they'll just be selling instead, you know, relying on their reserves of silver as opposed to trying to buy because everyone, you know, the few people that would be willing to sell their silver are going to expect a huge amount of money. So I'm pretty sure you'd be forced to sell online at this point. Which is what I would do. I would be selling, you know, all the silver. I'm not gonna let, you know, the huge companies make all the money. I gotta make a little bit, right? So I'd probably be selling um, everything online, and probably just selling it for melt value to move it real quickly so I can get rid of it. But yeah, I mean, not too much to discuss in this video at all. I don't think. Not much more to say, but I do hope you enjoyed it. That is it for this one. Peace, love, and much respect.